The reason why we're in such a perilous situation is because of, first of all, the historic failure of Fianna Fáil and particularly Fianna Gael governments to actually build social and affordable houses. So we're at this situation where there is a housing shortage and for the first time um, in generations, Irish people who are working, um, who are well qualified, can't even afford to put a roof over their own head. Um, and that has been exacerbated by more recent failures of this government to actually address what is now an emergency accommodation emergency. So people who are made homeless through no fault of their own have literally nowhere to go. And one of the problems we have in the most immediate term is that when the eviction ban was put in place late last year, it was something Sinn Féin called for, but it was only part of what Sinn Féin called for because we also called on government to use the period of the eviction ban to actually expand capacity in terms of emergency accommodation uh, for families and individuals who are found and um, found themselves you know with a notice for ev eviction government didn't do that and therefore we're at the point now where government have said they're going to lift the eviction ban but the crisis in terms of emergency accommodation is actually worse than when it put, was put in place so over the past number of days Sinn Féin councillors and TDs and senators have been contacting local authorities across the state to adjudicate on their their capacity to deal with what will be an increase in people presenting homeless and across 17 of the local authorities including all of the major city local authorities they have told us that they have no capacity whatsoever as it stands. In five others they have told us that capacity is extremely limited and in nine we haven't got a response back yet but the picture is very stark and it is pointing to a very clear reality that local authorities simply will not be able to accommodate those people who will be made homeless as a result of the government decision and this is important because this is the first time um, a government have knowingly and publicly made a decision that they know is actually going to increase the number of people presenting homeless and we know from these figures that those people who present as homeless will have nowhere to go and government will have no advice to offer them in terms of where they should go. The difficulty from a government perspective is that they have no answer to that very simple question that lots of families are asking as in where will we go. So families who either have um, eviction notices or are likely to get them over the common period will naturally ask that question. They're, they know from experience that there is virtually no other rented accommodation to be got, certainly no affordable rented accommodation. And we know from these figures that there is no emergency accommodation av available. So what will happen in many instances is that many tenants will have no option but to remain where they are being brought into a conflict that they don't want to be caught in um, or they will have to return to their parents' homes, to return to overcrowded accommodations in friends' homes or find themselves in a position where, as one family in Dublin were advised, they have to present at a Garda station in order to be secure and safe but still not have actually any accommodation. So we hear from government representatives, particularly in a constituency level, that they are not happy with the position that government have taken. But we hear that from time to time and it isn't unusual for a government TD to say one thing in their constituency and vote a different way in the Dáil. I think the difficulty from their perspective is next week lots of eyes are going to be looking at how they vote. Um, and I would encourage and plead with those TDs who know what the government are doing is wrong. They know that the government's stated position will lead to increased homelessness. They know that that will mean that there are families in their counties who are going to result with no place to go. And if you are a TD and you know that you cannot advise somebody as to what their options will be because there are no options there. Well then I would argue as well as having a political responsibility there's also a moral obligation on those people to support the Sinn Féin motion next week. But of course all of this is underpinned by the fact that Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael and the Green Party simply do not have a plan to address our housing emergency. They don't have the uh, imagination, the policies, the vision or the plan to actually deliver the level of social and affordable houses that are actually required to solve this problem in the long term. Sinn Féin does have that plan and what Sinn Féin want to do is actually ensure that we have a change of government so that we can deliver a change in housing policy that will make a real difference to those thousands of workers and families and renters who have been badly let down by success.
successive Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael governments. But in the short term, we have to use everything within um, our means to force government to, for, um, to um, see change and to rethink this very dangerous and this very bad proposition that they know will actually lead to an increase in homelessness. So on any metric that you would adjudicate government housing policy on, house prices, record highs, homelessness never been higher in the history of figures being recorded, rents rising all the time, they are now at levels that would have been unimaginable only a few short uh, years ago. All of that is under Leo Varadkar and Michal Martins and Eamon Ryan's watch. They are presiding over a housing emergency that is getting worse, not better. And therefore, for them to talk and lecture and soundbite about turning corners, I think is quite frankly insulting to those families that are at the coalface of this government's failures, those families who are currently in rented accommodation, paying a, a, um, way too much in terms of their monthly um, rent costs and who are now at threat of losing even that um, expensive home. The solution to this over the medium and long term is actually delivery of social and affordable houses, houses that people can afford to live in. Um, that's the answer, that's the solution that Sinn Féin want to bring in government. And in the meantime, we have to put in place emergency measures to recognise that these families are living in emergencies right now. And that means that we have to extend the eviction ban, but we also need to put in place the measures to expand on emergency accommodation availability.